Yeah, you gotta be careful. This, this thing rips now. I got a nice uh, cooling plate. Today I'm gonna try my new battery. So this is a prototype, it's not a piece of art. I reckon that. It's uh, 72 volts, made out of um, Samsung 30Q cells. It's 30 amp power. The controller is set up for the 72 volts battery. And uh, I configured it to 13 kilowatts. Hope it's not too much because we won't have that much traction today. It definitely feels like more full size dirt bike. Attention, merci. See that? That's nonsense, baby. <laughs> oh. The power is insane. I love it. I really love it. What's cool is, is the BAC, even though it has so much power, it's very progressive. It's cool that today it's uh, a bit muddy slash slippy because it makes me realize if it is too much or not and there's uh, no traction conditions. And if it's okay for these conditions, it's okay for Anytime. It's almost a bit scary sometimes. Power is insane. Wow. Sun is shining. La 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 bla bla bla. Nice weather, right? Now with this power, if you don't have proper brakes, man, you're doomed. But I still can't believe it. I love it. Feels like I have 300 two strokes packed in a 50 kilo box. The 
don't even know where I'm going. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. So there's one thing to be aware of. You know, sometimes it's like you lose your grip on the bike a bit itself. And then it's like you handling like the handlebar like that. And it's, it twists it, it twists a bit the, the throttle. And, uh, and so it, with the power you have now, it can be, it can be, if not dangerous, a bit tricky, I and mean, you can loop the bike definitely. What I love with the extra power that I have now is the extra versatility. It's out, out, out. So you can ride in so many different conditions. See that? It's crazy! Hey guys, Quinton here. Today we're going to talk about controllers. This is the first thing you want to do when you, if you want to get more power out of your Saron, you have to change the controller. So two popular options. You have the nuclear electronics, so the nuclear controller, or the other popular one is ASI. So I wonder is the ASI back for 1000 or is it the AC? Well, who cares? I'm gonna go with back. So I wonder is the back for 1000 and uh, so this controller works from with batteries from 36 to 72 volts and the peak current is up to 430 amps. So, just to give you an idea, 430 by, let's say, with a 60 volt battery, it's already more than 25 kilowatts. It's huge enough to fry the surround motor. Now, some people will go, and it's a popular option too, with the back 8000. Um, it's capable of uh, working with batteries from 30, ranging from 36 to 70 volts too, but it has an astonishing peak current of 840 amps. Let's try this again. 840 with a 60 volts battery. 50,000 watts. It's huge. It's more than the Saron will ever handle. I've only mentioned two of the most popular brands when it comes to aftermarket controller for the Saron. Nikola and ASI, but other brands exist too, so keep yourself informed. In any case, bear in mind that once you've upgraded the battery, the next bottleneck is the motor. And for instance, the back 8000, which might be the most powerful controllers or volt controllers available for the Saron, will be able to fry the motor in just a matter of seconds. So in my opinion, most of the time it's overkill, but it might be the controller you need is if what you want to do is unlock 25 kilowatts of power for your Saron. But again, 
is just for burst of power. Beyond that, you will get a melted model. Take time to tune it, and again, have fun. See you next time.